I'm sure most of us are familiar with the story of the Titanic, the unsinkable ship that sank on its maiden voyage. For the most part, many of us likely heard of the ship and learned about its tragedy after watching the famous James Cameron adaptation that was released in 1997. While this was an incredible movie that was packed with action from beginning to end, it fails to describe exactly what these passengers were feeling as the ship plunged to its demise. Families were torn apart, and the world would never be the same again. This reality is what we'd like to present to you today, showcasing some of the passengers and victims of the Titanic and how the lives of thousands of people would change forever. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. The RMS Titanic The RMS Titanic is widely believed to be the most famous passenger ship to have ever been built. It was crafted in Belfast and quickly became known as one of the safest ships in the world. Its story would find its way onto newspapers and tabloids around the world, and people would come from all over the country to see the ship as it was getting ready to depart on its maiden voyage. Better than that, the ship was also supposed to be incredibly comfortable and had the finest amenities you could imagine, many of which were not even available on land at the time. By all means, this ship was to be the finest ever built. While it was merely a passenger ship meant to take passengers from one place to another, it was by all means on par with many of the luxury cruise liners that sail the seas in modern times. Everyone wanted a chance to ride aboard the Titanic, and most of this publicity was due to the ship being called unsinkable. For many people, this seemed like the perfect time to take sail across the ocean blue, as safety was always an issue for most people who wanted to boat around the globe. Though this false idea of safety would soon lead to one of the world's most terrible disasters in maritime history. On the ship's first journey, it struck an iceberg on April 14, 1912. It was about 300 miles away from Newfoundland when it split apart and sank to the bottom of the ocean in a matter of hours. At the end of the day, 1,514 of the 2,200 passengers would lose their lives in the catastrophe. At the time, the Titanic was considered one of the worst losses of life in human history. The Tickets even though the Titanic was considered a luxury for most people on board, its ticket prices weren't too far off from modern times. Don't get me wrong, these tickets were super expensive, but there were cheaper alternatives that would help almost anyone be able to afford a bed on the Titanic. To start with, third-class passengers would only have to shell out between $15 and $40 for a ride on the Titanic. When you adjust this for inflation, that would be the equivalent of about $350 to $900 in modern times. This is still very expensive, but it's much less than most people would expect. When you consider the average wage of the workers who lived around this time, this could have been the equivalent of two to three weeks of work for some people, maybe even more. But things really start to amp up when we start looking at the second-class passenger tickets. These beds were drastically more expensive than the others and would have been a minimum of $60 per person, the equivalent of about $1,375 when adjusted for today's inflation rates. Things only get crazier when we look at a basic first-class ticket, which would set you back about $150 or $3,500 when adjusted for inflation. These tickets would give you one of the best experiences possible on the ship and be reserved for the elite members of society. By no means would a normal person at this point in history have been able to afford such a luxury. Though even these people would not be getting the best of the best, there's yet another tier of Titanic tickets that will completely blow your mind. Known as the First Class Parlor Suite, these tickets would cost about $4,350, but bear in mind, that is not adjusted for inflation. When you run the numbers, these tickets would cost over $100,000 in today's money. Remember, this money would be spent on a journey that was only meant to last a few days. In some parts of America, these tickets would cost more than a house. Before its maiden voyage 
As the ship was geared up and ready to leave, countless relatives, friends, and onlookers gathered at the port to wish their loved ones a happy holiday and a safe trip across the ocean. For most of these people, they knew it would be the last time they'd see their loved ones. Many of them would journey to America to start a new life and never return. Though no one could have predicted that tragedy would strike before the ship ever made it to New York City. The Titanic Leaves Port The Titanic finally left port around 12 noon on April 10, 1912. Many tears of both joy and sorrow were shed as the families of those on board watched as the ship shrank in the distance. Its four chimneys would become nothing but a speck on the horizon. First Class Passengers As the ship began to sail away, many passengers would soon realize that the majority of the interior space of the ship was dedicated for first-class travelers. The main focus of the first-class area would be the gigantic wooden staircase that has become so iconic in film and museums since the ship set sail. On the A-deck, there would be a beautiful smoking room, a spacious lounge with plenty of space to chat with friends and loved ones, as well as two identical cafes that would serve almost anything you could possibly want. The largest room on the ship was the first-class dining room on the D-deck. This room was an astounding 890 square meters. For anyone who preferred to dine a la carte, they would be directed to B-deck. Just next to this deck was a café that was designed to look and feel just like a French street café. Though, before meeting up for dinner, first-class passengers would be up in the luxury parlor that was a short distance away. To top this off, there was even a gym on the ship that included heaps of sports equipment, a bathing area, and a heated swimming pool. There was also a court. As the passengers made their way back to their living quarters, these areas would leave nothing to be desired. The rooms were very large, were outfitted with all the best commodities, and had anything you could possibly need within arm's reach. The most luxurious cabins would be on the B-deck. These rooms would be reserved for the parlor suites and would have a private salon, a bathroom, two bedrooms, and a dressing room. They would also have access to an exclusive 15-meter-long promenade deck. The Iceberg Even though there have been several illustrations over the years that claim the iceberg that struck the Titanic was quite large, it would be almost completely unseen by nearly everyone, including the lookouts. An eerie photo was captured that many people believe may show the iceberg that would claim the lives of so many people. The lifeboats Because the Titanic was considered unsinkable, the lifeboats were the least of the crew's worries before the ship set sail. The ship only had about 20 lifeboats on board, which is less than half the number of boats that should have been required if everyone on board that evening wanted to live. To make things even worse, the boats that were on the ship were not even filled to half capacity before they set sail. This means that, at the very least, double the people who were saved could still be alive today if the crew had been properly educated about how many people could ride in each boat. Worse still is that one of the lifeboats was found to only have three people inside. Each boat was equipped to handle at least 65 people. This means that if full, a total of 1,300 people could have been saved that evening. The Survivors Photos were taken on board the Carpathia just moments after the Titanic had sunk. The Carpathia had been nearby when Titanic began to send out distress signals. The ship would change its course and head to the crash site of the Titanic, doing its best to save everyone who was nearby. In the photos, these people were clearly shaken and in shock, in total disbelief about what had just happened. When the Carpathia arrived in New York on April 18th, the joy of those whose loved ones had been saved filled the air. There were shouts of joy and many tears shed as the boat came into port. However, there was a more overwhelming feeling of dread than any of us could ever imagine when the majority of the Titanic passengers did not make it to America. 
only 710 of the 2,224 passengers would be saved, and 80% of the victims were men. In total, 30,000 people could be seen waiting in the pouring rain, hoping that their loved ones would make it to America safely. Sadly, most of these people would never arrive. The Titanic Orphans A photo was taken that shows two French brothers, Michel and Edmond Navratil, just two and four years old at the time. These children would become known as the Titanic Orphans, as their father had passed away in the crash and their mother had been home in France, unaware of what had happened to her children. It would take a full month before she would see a photo of her kids and be able to identify them. Newsboy A famous photo of a newsboy made its way around the world when he began selling newspapers that advertised the sinking of the unsinkable ship. Paperboys like this were quite popular in the early 1900s, and most of them worked in the streets to bring home whatever they could to support their families. Jack Thayer 17-year-old Jack Thayer managed to survive the catastrophe and became one of just seven people who would be saved from the freezing waters that evening. He was spotted as a rescue boat made its way back to the wreckage, hoping to find people who had been left stranded in the ocean. Jack barely managed to survive, and two of the other people who were pulled from the water would pass away in the lifeboats on their way to safety. The Richest Man on the Ship The Titanic would have been filled with hundreds of incredibly wealthy people, though the most financially successful man on board would be John Jacob Astor IV. Sadly, even his fame and fortune could not save him from his terrible fate as John was crushed by a chimney when the ship began to sink. At the time, he was worth an estimated $1.6 billion when adjusted for inflation. John was so badly injured that he could only be identified by his platinum ring and the $4,000 he kept in his pocket, worth almost $100,000 in today's money. The Titanic was clearly one of the most devastating losses of life in human history. This terrible event changed the world forever and truly made people question how safe passenger ships really are. The sinking of the Titanic has led to countless art pieces, films, television shows, and books over the years. The ship is every bit as popular today as it was all those years ago, though now for a much different reason. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.